Alright, hey guys, it's me, Sonosuke, and today I'm going to be doing a discussion video in regards to Naruto from Ninja Storm 3, and I'm joined by Obito X Gohan, most of you will probably know him. Uh, I'm going to put a link to his channel either in the description below, in the annotations, or somewhere on the video. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Gohan start off with the discussion. Well, okay, well, if we have seen this Storm 3, we see that we got the, uh, Naruto vs. Kurama, Naruto vs. Sasuke, we have the third Okage vs. the Nautails, um, we also have Minato vs. Mass Man. I'm pretty excited about how the, the battles are being set up. There's been possibly some rumors saying that uh, the game might get the characters uh, three ball cards back. And um, I'm thinking that might just be for the boss battles, but it, it seems like when you think about Generations of Storm 2, you, you notice how it seems like the battles seem to go by a little too fast, but sometimes the battles run a little long. I would I wouldn't mind if they actually brought back three bars like they did in Storm One. And well, you notice how now the sub bar is back. Well, to an extent, I think maybe they made it a little too easy because people used to um, talk about how people used to sub spam on Storm Two, and then um, people how you because how easy it was to substitute on um, generations. I think they should try and set up some kind of a little more of a strategy using the sub bar because a lot of people didn't like. It. Yeah, I agree with that. I think the sub bar, to some extent, could be, it needs to be tweaked a little bit because it's a little temperamental in regards to how quickly it comes back, and I think sometimes, at least I know for me, and a lot of times when I play with Logic Zombies, sometimes we'll accidentally use the sub bar, you know, not trying to sub, but we'll press the button anyway, and it will sub, you know, more than once. If you're trying to just sub one attack, sometimes you'll end up using all four subs by yeah. pressing the button, you know, at the wrong time. So yeah, it'd be nice to see some sort of change in, in the uh, sub, in the way the substitutions work. Yeah, um, another thing that's been noticed about is, um, Pain being considered an overpowered support because of the fact that he is multi-hit. And, um, one thing that they need, they need to just make Pain, they just need to make him one hit just to fix that problem. He only hits once. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be really good, just make it like a one hit type of deal and... I think that the the fact that it kind of sits there for a couple of seconds, I think that's good. But I think that if, like you said, if it hits them once, then that's when it, he should be done instead of continuing yeah. to, you know, keep out on the field. Because I mean, I know when I use pain as a support when I'm using my Monato team, I kind of, I'll admit, I kind of abuse that sometimes because I'll charge somebody and then know that they're gonna sub and bring out pain from behind, yeah. and they'll, you know, be forced to hit by be hit by pain at least once or twice. So yeah, that'd yeah. be nice to uh, see pain get numbed down a little bit. Yeah, another thing um, people were talking about is about removing the frenzy pill because of the effect of that, and this is another thing that has to do with um, pain. Because if you take the frenzy pill, you will, and if you like uh, playing as pain, and you have a melee attack up, and you're playing as a uh, pain, and your opponent is using a frenzy pill, they will literally die. If you, you're, when you're using the frenzy pill, you're pre pretty much asking for death if your opponent is pain. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's actually happened to me once or twice. Uh, I just wanted to see if it worked because I saw it. Somebody uh, do it online. Like somebody had noticed that happened, and that was uh, the videos on YouTube. And um, I was playing. I was playing with Logic Zombie, and he was using Pain. And we just wanted to see if it worked. And I charged him, and I had my frenzy pill. And yeah, it's an instant kill, no matter how much health you have. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um. One thing that I think. One thing that I've been noticing is like the overpoweredness of some of the awakenings in the game. Such, such characters as uh, the six kills. I'm not sure if you ever watched the video, but there was a video put out a while back, like before Storm 3 came out, showing the demo of Storm, I mean not Storm 3, Storm Generation. And um, it showed that you were able to use the six kills, you were playing a same Monardo, put a mail, uh, defense down on your opponent, and you take a melee attack up, and you can just spam the, same, the six kills um, air jutsu and kill them within six seconds. Holy shit, yeah, I haven't <laughs> seen that, but I mean, I know, yeah, the Six Tails is so overpowered, like, one combo pretty much takes out an entire bar, if not more. Yeah. Yeah, this, the Six Tail uh, Naruto is a little a little broken, but yeah, some of the Awakenings yeah. I would like to see toned down, and some of them I'd like to see do more. Like, for example, with Kakashi's Awakening, it's really just, you get to be Sharingan Kakashi and do generic extra damage. I mean, there isn't, at least I haven't noticed, a lot of a, a gain for using Kakashi's Awakening. Yeah, um, one thing I've, I've been always like, thinking about Kakashi's Awakening is like, if they, in fact, the Generations has PTS, um, PTS Kakashi, I thought maybe they should, um, they brought, 
the PT is current is back, but the PT is versions of the current is maybe they make Kakashi's awakening when he goes Sharingan, making him copying his opponent's Jutsu. Since we do remember that Kakashi could copy Jutsu in part one. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that would be a really cool addition. Or what I would think would also be kind of a cool thing they could do. They could have two versions of Akashi, one where he starts off with the Sharingan and his awakening is his Mongekyo, or something like that. Because the only reason when I'm Kakashi, I'll go into my awakening is because I just like Kakashi with a Sharingan. That's the only reason. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, cool, I can play a Sharingan Kakashi. But yeah, well, there's a great possibility they might make a the um, War Kakashi with his own War outfit on with the headband. Maybe his awakening might be more like a shine gun, and maybe his uh, awakening needs to be combo with the technique that he uses. Um, with his monkey good shine gun, especially the meat with the monkey will seem to be able to get a lot when he's fighting um, Obito. So maybe he'll, maybe he'll combo he might need like his awakening needs or something. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think that would be really cool, especially if depending on how far they go into the war, because, I mean, we know that they're probably not going to get to the point where we know who uh, Toby is in the, in the actual anime, because I remember them stating that they want to put every character or every aspect that we see in the anime up until the end of this year. Presumably, we're not going to see Obito find out that Obito is, uh, or excuse me, Toby is Obito, you know. Yeah, well, um, I think I looked at an interview not too bad, and they said, I could have sworn to see if said they actually were to po quite possibly contribute to the manga. Now, they did say exactly how they were going to contribute to it. They may contribute to it through the, um, just through the characters, and they might just get the characters in the manga. Now, when I read another interview, they said as far as the story is concerned, it's going to work up until the latest, whatever the latest episode of Naruto is before the game comes out. Oh. But, they, but they still say that they're going to contribute to the manga, and they might contribute to the manga. Yeah, I definitely think if they contribute to the manga, it's probably going to be like you were saying, characters, because that just, you know, that just makes more sense. I mean, I know for me personally, for Storm 3, the only character that I really, really want to be able to play is, is Rengan Toby. Well, now Obito, but uh, that, that's probably my biggest excitement to see if he's in there. I know a lot of people are saying they'd love to see uh, Edo Tente Madara in there, which would, which would be pretty cool. I just hope he's not, like, overpowered or kind of like... You know how the mass man I, I love the fact that he's in there but i hate the fact that he is such a spam character i mean yeah. i when i play as him i don't i use maybe i'll use ninjutsu once but it's it's one of those things where he's just that character when you see people play him and you automatically know what's gonna happen <laughs> yeah well um there's one thing another thing i want to talk about like the set of spam maybe they should like change the setup of being able to use a chaco whenever you want and maybe like have a limit on some of you have been talking about having a, possibly having a limit on how many juices you can use in one match. Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen that suggestion a lot, especially from like PS3 HD uh, 360. I've seen that from yeah. 5 Kai. A lot of people suggesting you know a ninju two, uh, a way to reduce ninju two so that we don't see as much spam. And I'm kind of on the fence about it. I mean, I like the idea, but at the same time, I don't like the idea. I think that it'd be really cool if, for example, in player matches, if you have the option to, you know, turn off that ninjutsu bar or turn off the sub bar, or just kind of in player matches have a little more freedom, especially with being able to turn off the timer. That'd be really nice. Oh, but yeah. I mean, for, for rank games, I think that the ninjutsu bar would be would be an interesting way of doing it. But if they do do it, maybe they should offer an option for, you know, how they have the, I think it's the custom rank battles that no one ever plays on Generations. But I mean, if they did that, they could, you know, remove the Ninjutsu bar in that, in the, in that version of the ranked. But I, I, like I said, I'm really on the offense about it. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I think that it's just one of those things that if they added, it, just get used to it. But I think, yeah, it would definitely cut back on some of the spamming. Yeah, and um, as we were just talking about a second ago about the um, overpowered awakenings. Maybe, because I noticed how, I've actually played the Six Hills, um, and I noticed how, because of Chaka Air Dash and Chaka Cancer, it gives the Awakening so much flexibility, and that's another thing that makes him so overpowered. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, we, I've, we've noticed a lot of just, it's kind of really just a stat boost, there's no true drawback to, for example, Six Tailed Naruto's Awakening, unless you can get the drop on them and they awaken with no subs, then you you probably have a chance of taking them out but if they're you know they're full subs or they have a lot of chakra and they're generally good at the game then you you're done I mean, yeah it, it doesn't matter yeah and one thing um i noticed about like uh i noticed how i i still play storm 2 a lot and i noticed how extremely overpowered the susano is for itachi susano in storm 2 you literally couldn't even barely get it you could 
you could barely ever get a hit on it. But in Storm, in Generations, you could just interrupt this from his attacks all the time and you can stop whatever it's doing. And uh, to be honest, I think, uh, I think to an extent that's, what am I trying to say? I think, I'm glad that they did make those Susanoo's overpower and let him in so that he could interrupt it. But in a sense, I don't think you should be able to interrupt it as much as you, you can see on Generations. From how the Susanoo's being used. Because like, when people use Susanoo, it's practically like the second frenzy pill. Because you kind of sort of ask for death. <laughs> oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, the Susanoo in, in Storm 2, it was pretty much, if you pick the Tachi, went Susanoo, you're going to win the game. In this game, yeah. it's more like if you pick a... a Su go Susano or pick Susano Sasuke and go Susano. You're screwing yourself because if you know if you're if you're not adept with Susano, which is it's really hard to even get to the point where you can still own like you could in Storm Two. Yeah. You're pretty much just putting a death sentence. You're gonna lose the game. And mostly when I play when I'm with my friends for fun or whatever, I'll just use my awakening if I know I'm gonna lose anyway. And most of the time, it makes me get my ass kicked even faster <laughs> using that awakening. You know. So. Yeah. Um. Well, another thing I want to start talking about is um, the setup of uh, like characters. A few characters that I've been thinking about wanting for Storm 3. Um, for me personally, one character that I wish, I hope that'll be in Storm 3 is uh, Konohamaru. Oh yeah, definitely. That would be really cool to be able to play as Konohamaru. I think the last game that we got to play as him on was Ultimate Ninja like, 3 or 4, one of, the, uh, one of those two on the PS2 was the last time we got to play as Konohamaru. Yeah. Somebody tells me if he were in the game, his 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 moveset would be somewhat relative to PTS Naruto. Oh yeah, I think that it, probably his ultimate move, or yeah, his ultimate Jutsu would probably be like his version of the Udama Rasengan or something. Yeah. And then his his regular Ninjutsu, I'm thinking it might be either the Rasengan or we might see the uh, Burning Ash technique that uh, Asuma uses or the Shuriken Kagebushin. Um, I'm thinking oh, yeah. it's, it might be somewhere somewhere in there because, you know, just from the fights that we've seen from him, namely it's all been OVA stuff like in the uh, the Blood Prison movie. I don't know if you've watched that. There's that little scene where him and Naruto fight and uh, Konohamaru uses the Rasengan Shadow Clone Jutsu and then he uses uh, Asuma's Burning Ash and he's able to use the Shuriken Shadow Clone Jutsu, which I thought yeah. was really cool. So it's kind of like a blend of Naruto and the third and Asuma. So that would be really cool if we could see Konohamaru and he'd have that move set or those options. Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, have you ever seen, you've seen the gameplay of um, Darui, Mifune, and uh, Hanzo? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, some people are thinking that possibly Hanzo's uh, Jutsu might be spammable to like, some people are thinking that Hanzo's Jutsu is going to be like uh, the second best man, the way his Jutsu is. Yeah, I was actually talking to a friend about that today, and he was saying, yeah, I think Hanzo's gonna be basically a spam fest character, and I was like, well, you know, it kind of looks that way, but I, I don't know, I would really just have to wait and see. It's been a little bit since I've actually watched his, uh, you know, that gameplay, but I, I think that there's gonna be enough characters that it'll bounce out and it won't be as bad as the Masked Man. Because I would hope that CC2 learns from, you know, quote unquote mistakes or the things that a lot of the fans have been telling me, you know, we, we, we shouldn't be seeing this anymore. Like, for example, the Masked Man's Ninjutsu. It'd be really nice if they if they just straight changed it. Because, in my opinion, all around that Ninjutsu is overpowered. I mean, there's. The, I mean, you, yes, you can get around it, but it's very. There's there's no direct way, I should say, of getting around his Ninjutsu. Yeah, and think about spam, like he uses spam, like, well, maybe not entirely, like, setting a limit on how many Ninjutsu you can use in a battle, more or less, like, just every time you use Ninjutsu, you have to wait before you get a chance to use it again. Kind of sort of like in a way of a substitution bar, but I'm not saying, like, having a Jutsu bar. Just saying that every, because you know, often when we see Naruto, we don't see Naruto using the Sanger, the Sanger, and the Sanger. Right, exactly. Yeah, some sort of timer or something. Yeah, that that would be that would be a nice way of doing it, or just make it cost a little more chopper because some characters are passing on how much you can just use their special. You know, it's because I think in Storm One your specials cost a lot more chopper, but at the same time they did a hell of a lot more damage. But I think that would be really cool going on. You know, going pulling some things from Storm One like you were saying at the beginning, uh, having an additional health bar because the matches go by extremely fast it seems as soon as you knock someone out of the green it's 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 almost as if as soon as they hit red they take more damage uh, i don't know if that's just me or logic zombie were talking about that a couple days ago it's like 
Are we taking more damage? We couldn't really. It just looks that way once you once you get into that red. So yeah, it'd be really nice to see a third health bar and be able to continue off that and bring in more elements from the first game that were really popular in this in the world well, with only single player, but in the single player uh, gameplay or non-online, I should say.